Hey guys, it's your girl Mother from Killer 2 with Soap What To Do, and today we are going to be fixing up this wig because it looks a hot mess. <laughs> from this to something a whole lot better with the main style objective being this so without further ado let's get into it i'm not gonna lie at this point i know i messed up because i even got scared out that little part in the back was my hair I was like what would but um i really forgot how cute hairstyles look but they take a lot of time so most of this hairstyle is just a lot of brushing because i literally like pulled this wig from the bottom of my closet and it's been a minute since I wore it but the hair still looks really really good I don't know if you guys can see that but it looks really really good um, I'm not crazy about the whole synthetic looking kind of wigs where they too shiny but this one looked really really nice after you brushed it out for a few and um it was like a body wave kind of thing at the end but I was a little tired from been brushing like that and then i don't recognize that lace look fried dyed and not laid to the side so we need something to lay it if you don't know what that is that is the evens lace glue i had to get that up on at least fix it and i kept recognizing even as i'm looking back now that i kept on spraying it but i never put anything down to lay it um which will probably be later on i put like a soak scarf to lay it and you guys will see how that lays but like right after this i legit was like yep okay put it back down kept brushing like it was nothing <laughs> like what is wrong with me for real? i think i was just so worried about like actually getting this hair detangled i wasn't even worried about actually laying the wig down i'm not even the type that would normally lay my wig down so I was like eh, it's whatever first let's detangle it and then we can worry about other things so I'm still detangling, still detangling. Most of this is detangling. Um, I'll just keep on detangling the other side now. And then get into it. Get into it, yep. This is like a full-on workout. I forgot about this. That's why I barely did hear videos before. But I see you guys love them so much. So I thought, why not? And... Yeah, she's a little jiggly and a little ratty because she was definitely not trying to be on my head. And I had to find something to hold her back. And that is me looking for something. And boop, <laughs> I'm ghetto because I definitely found one, but it was not what it was supposed to be. You were not supposed to put a ponytail holder. If you go find like a hair clip, go with the hair clip because this is not how you're supposed to do it. And before I get the little hate comments like, oh my gosh, she put it on her edges. I'm going to tell you right now, I did not spray that much for it to actually affect my hair to the point where it is on my edges. But, girl, I just needed this, this wig to be laid down for a few. So, I mean, it might have been on my edges. It might have not been. Um, But personally, for me, having it on, it wasn't directly on my edges. It was a little bit before them or whatever. But it still worked for me. It was fine. It was cute. It was a moment. So, I really didn't care at the end of the day. And I don't know why I was chewing on that gum so hard. Like, it must have been good. But there's a little scarf I was talking about where I laid my hair down or whatever. And I thought I was doing something. I know the, the girls normally use an elastic band, but baby, this is all I could find. So, and even with this, I didn't even know what I was doing. Look at that. Still confusion. So, still, still a little confused on what to do. And of course, as quick as I put it on, girl, you know how to take that thing right back off because I'm very much impatient. That is me. That is like my middle name. But I thought I was doing something with this gorilla knot. But yeah, I used the gorilla knot to lay down the edges. And this is literally me looking for the things I'm going to need, like a comb. Um, You're definitely going to need some bobby pins and a mirror because this is where it gets a little difficult when we get into everything being detangled and now we gotta do the real deal of swooping and laying and spraying and brushing and 
all that other stuff and like i just said i'm very much impatient so i was literally looking for stuff to do like just not me dancing uh uh-uh so at this point i was like man forget it i waited a good five minutes for this to lay down okay we looking a little bit better but yeah she's actually on my head on my head like she's not going nowhere and I love this way because you could literally part it anywhere. And I really like how deep those that part was. Like, come on, Scalpiana. Like, I'm not the greatest with straight parts. But I'm trying. I'm, I'm definitely trying. I'm not going to lie. I did not bleach the knots. Um, I plucked a little bit, but not as much as I should have probably. But um, I always said I always was going to pluck a little bit more if I was going to wear it like as a middle part. Which I will eventually, but that was not one of these videos. And don't mind my ugly faces when I'm doing my hair. I tend to do that a lot. And it's like my little concentration face. I do it when I'm doing schoolwork too, so like, don't even trip. And this is like the process of me pulling out a little piece of edge. Because I know that there was a piece of edge that was already in there. But since I cannot find it... We gonna make this my little piece of edge because it was honestly too many of those little scrawny hairs and let me go and get some scissors so then i finally cut the little piece or whatever piece of hair and then i put out that gorilla snot girl the girls that know know that that stuff is strong for any occasion so i just put it on both sides of the edges i was definitely not feeling the edges because it was definitely giving old school swoop and dupe you know type vibes but it did what i had to do at the end so i wasn't really mad i like the way i laid that one but the second one was like no it was giving very much no it was just not giving but it was okay because one of them was gonna be covered while the other one was gonna be out so i wasn't too mad at it but i had to make sure that that part you could see a little bit of scalp or whatever we gave you a little scalpiana action don't mind my brother in the back um he's on the game sorry about that but then i also was sitting up there once again the process of brushing and detangling the hair to make sure it's a slick piece and it's staying down and it's flatter than any other part of your hair and because i didn't want any of this part to be with my flat iron or anything or hot comb i don't like it so a straight free spray straight glue type thing take a section of that swoop see how you want to swoop it and of course you're gonna put it behind the ears later so that'll give you a nice little example of how it's gonna be cute 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 but you're gonna need a bobby pin so let me go ahead and get that bobby pin because that way it'll lay. And I don't got to worry about it. Now, I am was trying to figure out how I was going to do this half up, half down situation. Thank God we found figured it out later on. It wasn't really that hard. I just had to take a piece of the front and line it up. And I had to separate my swoop really. Separate the soup first. Then you find out the exact amount that you want to take. I don't want to take out too much. So I just took out a little bit over there and a little bit over here. And I thought I knew exactly where I wanted to put it. So I just said forget it and put up a bow. Which probably wasn't the best idea. Because first um, you need to brush it for sure. And that's why you see that little hump. You need to brush it and then establish when you want to put it. But I mean it was cute ghetto fabulous type but I fixed it up a little bit later. You're going to see that. And yeah, we had to, I was, it was, that, that lump was bothering me. I just couldn't take it. I was not doing what I was supposed to do. I did not like that. So definitely needed to now comb out that bang, that swoop. And then after I combed out that little swoop, get some spray i'm gonna try to de de describe this the best way possible okay so then after that you want to take it to the back of your head so you take a bobby pin right 
Now you open the bobby pin. You put the hair, like the chunk of hair, in between the bobby pin. You're going to see my wig cap in a minute, which is fine. See? Yep, there we go. And then you're going to, like, tuck the bobby pin in the back, all the way in the back of the wig. Like, underneath the wig cap and all. Like, that's how good it should be. And then it's going to stay like that. And the only thing you have to worry about is that half a pack down ponytail. So, of course, I was not letting myself go outside like that with that weak behind ponytail. So, I took that out and put um, a whole different ponytail holder in here. And then I had a whole bunch of craziness going on with, like, if I wanted two bobos, did I want one bobo? Was this one enough? You're going to see it all unfold. But... I mean, I even liked it like this. This was cute to me, but I just had to keep fixing it up because it was not giving what I was supposed to give a lot of the times. So like, that's not it. And I don't like lumps in my hair. And I don't like the fact that it's leaning over to the side. I mean, that's cute, though. That's mad cute. Like, look at that, you guys. Like, what? That's kind of cute. But... Then again, you guys can see that the bobos were, like, kept on going on top of the ponytail holder. So you saw that I was a ponytail holder in there. I wasn't really crazy about that. And I really like that. So we had to get on that ASAP. No Rocky. And, yeah. We had to fix that. And then I was deciding if, like I just said before, I wanted two bobos in there or just wanted one set of them. And the two bobos were definitely doing a lot, like, not in a good way. And so, really, I was going to consider, like, leaving it like this. But then I got really tired of it. And I said, forget it. And I just took the whole thing out. And I was like, yeah, no, we're not doing that. First of all, we need to get rid of this lump. So, let me take out all these little extra bobby pins and all this other extra crap. And just simply brush it. Like, it should not be this hard. Like, just brush it. Get a sleek ponytail up there and let's do that like, let's find a ponytail hold and let that be that but that two bobo thing is just not working out so one yep mm -hmm. just make sure it's sleek and it's up make sure it's a little bit loose at the same time i don't know what i wanted honestly i wanted it to be sleek cute but i also wanted it to be loose a little bit so it's not completely too tight and pulling on the lace um but yeah we got that thing through there pure i even liked it without the bobo but the bobo was just so me i just couldn't help myself i was like oh no this needs a bobo oh this is so cute like yes come on girl it's giving very much 10 out of 10 very much cute old school i love it i love it i love it and yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I love this for me, and that's what the back looked like, looked a little bit of a hot mess, well, and then the side looked like, I pushed all the hair from the back to the front, because I thought I was doing something, trying to be cute, but it was whatever. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.